the minimum age okay, requirement for security manager or operator ang tamo sa dito sabi sa inyo is 25 years old no pero dati sa October 1994 no no uh, abetbet tayo ni Chad Robles sa kanya IRR kapag gusto mo maging guardia is not less than 18 but not more than 50 years old pero as of today yung 2003 no sa Republic Act 5487 ang nakasulat eh, dalawang beses na pala mabas, 2017, 18, 19, 19, 19 na pala. Kapag gusto mo maging guwada sa Pilipinas, ang minimum age is 21 na. Yan na kasi ang nakalagay sa batas ng Republic Act 5487, no? Okay. Next. The normal weight of a safe is at least, sabi nga, yung safe, eto, parang bolting yan. Yung kanyang pintuan is one and a half thick steel. Yung kanyang gilid is one inch. Sa bolt naman, yung pintuan ng bolt, 6 inches, yung gilid ng bolt is 12 inches. At itong safe na to, ang timbang niya is not less than 750 pounds. So, the correct answer is bravo. Kasi kapag ang safe is less than 750 pounds, dapat ang safe is naka-uncord or naka-attach or mismo nakadikit sa building para hindi mabuhat. No? At ang ilalagay sa mga safe ay small items like jewelry and cash or yung mga important document. No? Okay. Bang top of the world na tano. Padpaw is transport. Ano ba ang uh, padpaw? So the correct answer is Philippine Association of Detective and Protective Agency Operators Incorporation. Okay. Ah, uh, na yung gagawa ng exam ng uh, security or industrial security management ay naging uh, professor namin ni Sir Michael Jonisio. No, si Sir Johnny, Johnny siya dyan, Michael, sa Industrial Security Management. No, kumuha kami ng Certified Security Professional. Siya yung pumalit kay Dr. Robert A. Sa Santa, A. Santa Teresa, si Sir Warren Corpus. No? Okay. Siguro sa tingin ko, ang gagawin exam ni Sir Warren Corpus, kasi tatlong taon ko siyang nakasama sa pagtuturo, ay uh, Socio at CA. At uh, Lea. Siguro ganun, kasi magiging lima na examiner, no? So, ang kagandaan dahil nasa St. Clair kayo, uh, lahat kami mga lecturer ng St. Clair, kami mga national lecturer, hanggang final coaching, mabibigay namin yung mga technique or tips kung paano sila gumagawa ng tanong sa board exam. Kaya lahat kayo, yan, itindihin nyo at aralin nyo yung mga sinasabi namin para 100% no, papasa kayo. At alam nyo naman na napakataas ng passing rate ng, uh, ng uh, ng uh, St. Clair, no? At yung mga top-notcher natin, sobrang dami na. Okay, last, last exam, meron tayong nationwide, no? Sana, meron din tayong nationwide ngayon dyan, okay? Next, what unit of PNP handles the processing and insurances of license for private security personnel? So, ganito lang yan. Ang mga nag-training sa mga security personnel natin, at ang mga nagpo-proseso ng kanilang uh, lisensya ay eh, walang iba kundi ang PNP so siya. Toric answer is Alpha. At ang highest rank sa PNP so uh, is Chief Superintendent or One Star. One Star na tinatawag nating uh, Police Brigadier General. No? Okay. Yan. Next. What is the most common types of human hazard? Sinabi ko nga kanina. Common types of human hazard that is spill, perage. Number one board question 2019, ano ang tawag sa magnanakaw na nagpaplano? The keyword na with preconceived plan, that is systematic pilperer. Pero kapag ang magnanakaw ay nagnanakaw because of little chance of detection, is that is casual pilperer. Ano ang other term ng pilperage? That is step. Pero yung the most common or the most destructible, most destructible human hazard is arson. Most of, uh, most dangerous or the most destructible human hazard is arson. Ex license to operate ay isang license certificate document na ini-issue dito ba? Authorizing a person na pwede na magtayo ng security guard or uh, detective or juridical person to establish and gauge direct manage or operate a private detective agency. Sino ba nagbibigay niyan o nag-issue niyan? Walang iba kung hindi yung nagka-cancel at nag-aproba, nagre-revoke at nasususpende ng lisensya ng gwardiya, si Chief PNP. 
Tago nga, si Chip Pien Pirin ang nagbibigay ng kapangyarihan sa gwardya during times of emergency na magkaroon ng police authority. Okay. Clear zone. Sabi ko nga, an obstructed area na dapat walang nakaharang. Ang tanong dito, clear zone of block must be established between the perimeter barrier and structure within the protected areas. Hindi ginamit na examiner noong taong 2018 yung inside and outside. Kapag inside, ang sukat is 50 feet or more. That is inside clear zone. Kapag outside is 20 feet or more. So the correct answer is within that is 50 feet or more. So the correct answer is delta. 50 feet or more. Yan, delta. Next. The highest rank in security agency organizational structure. Kung sa atin, ang highest position sa PNP is Chief PNP. Ang highest rank sa PNP is Police General. Ang highest rank in security agency organizational structure is Chief Security Director. Okay, Chief Security Director lang po at wala nang iba. Okay. Next. Si Asna La Vista Bebe ay isang security guard. Pagkatapos ng kanyang duty, ano ang gagawin niya sa firearm? Turn Tama ba na iuuwi? Bring home the firearms for his responses. Iuuwi mo ba yung barrel mo pag wardya ka? Wow! Is na pero no? Mali yan. So the correct answer is, turn over to the next security guard on duty. So ang gagawin mo, i-debriefing mo siya. Yung debriefing na yan, lamabas yan 29 inboard question. Ano ba yung debriefing? Ano ibig sabihin? Okay? Pag sinabing debriefing, bilang police, bilang gwardiya, army, tanod, okay? Pagkatapos ng duty mo, i-debriefing mo, ibig sabihin, lahat ang naobserbahan mo or anong nangyari habang ikaw ay nag-duty, sasabihin mo sa susunod na mag-duty sa'yo. That is debriefing. At pagkatapos ng duty ng gwardiya, ang gagawin niya sa kanyang firearms is turn over to the next security guard. Okay? Next. A portable and detachable lock na merong sliding hubs. Okay, ibig sabihin, portable and detachable na tatanggal, na aalis, na bibitbit, na pwedeng ipasok sa, sa staple ring at sa sliding hubs that is padlock. Padlock. Start answer is bravo. Pero kapag a mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic electronic device, that is lock. At sinabi ko kanina, ano ang tawag sa magnanakaw sa England na magaling mag-pick locks? Safe crackers at tagiiwan ng Jimmy Marks kapag nagnanakaw sila or force entry, that is Peter Mann. At ang last sa isang establishment ay pinapalitan every six months or twice a year. Okay. Next. Security of top ranking public official. Okay, pag nagbabantay ng mga public officials, that is VIP security. Kapag wala ang VIP security, anong other term? Personal. Personal security. Yan. Yan ang tawag natin yan. Okay. Pero kapag ang tinatanong, what is the broadest type of security? That is physical security. The weakest types of security, document security. Kapag nagbabantay ng dokumento, syempre document security. May mga uri pa tayo ng security, katulad ng school security. Sa so school security, hindi lang pasilidad na binabantayan mo. Ang importanteng bantayan mo dito, yung estudyante or pupils, no? Okay. Next. If Jason Espejo wants to become a security guard, how many hours of training is needed to acquire his license as a security guard? Ilang oras ang training ng gwardiya? Okay, that is 150 hours. Anong sagot sa 2019? Anong other term? Pre, lie, send, sing, pre-licensing course. Pre-licensing course. Yan. Okay. 48 hours, that is a retraining course. 300 hours, that is a uh, security officer training course. Sino ang mga accepted sa training ng gwardiya or sa base security guard course? That, uh, mga accepted dyan is uh, criminology graduate. Ano pa? Retired veteran personnel of AFP and PNP. Okay, ayan ay uh, law graduate. Yan. 2018 board question din to. The basic load of ammunition per unit of duly licensed firearm. At tinatanong, ilan ang barrel or ilan ang bala lang ang mga barrel sa ANSAS uh, security agency natin? 
Kapag tinatanong, ang basic load lang ng firearm is 50 loads. So, the answer is Delta. Pero yung lamabas 2018, yung tinatanong, ilan ang basic load per every security guards? That is 25 loads. Okay? So, kung ang maximum firearm is 500, ang maximum na load lang, ito times mo lang sa 50. 500 times 50, ganun lang siya, no? Okay? Pero sa PNP, ang basic load natin is 30 loads lang sa PNP personnel natin. Bakit? May nakita na ba kayong uh, polis na halos lahat ng sinturon may magasin? Di ba? Wala. Halos dalawa lang. No? Kasi ang basic load is 30 loads lang sa PNP. Sa security guard, 25 loads. Sa firearm is 50 loads. Okay? Ilan ang maximum security guards? Na private security agency and company security uh, forces? 1,000. Ang uh, maximum uh, firearms is 500 kasi may ratio na 1 is to 2. May ratio na 1 is to 2. Okay, next. This is the cheapest types of animal barrier. Okay, pag sinabing geese, okay, maraming gansa. At kapag sinabi natin goose, isang gansa lang. Ang tinatanong, what is the common types of animal barrier? Okay, ang common types of animal barrier natin is dog. Dog lang yan, wala nang iba, aso. At ang unang gumamit ng aso sa mga patrol board question yan, 2018 December, is Egyptians. No? Egyptians, ang kauna-una ang uh, tao na gumamit ng aso sa mga patrol. Ano pa tinanong? Gaano kalasa pang amoy ng aso kumpara sa tao? 10 million times compared to human. At ang uh, training or ang disadvantage ng canine dogs ay... Uh, ang training niya tumatagal na 3 months. Kapag wala 3 months, 10 to 12 weeks. At ang aso ay epektibo lang magtrabaho sa loob ng 6 na oras. Ang tao, walang oras epektibo magtrabaho. Ang aso, 6 na oras lang. Kapag namagpas dyan, hindi na siya epektibo. Okay? Ang blow fly, saan na nang iplog yan? Sa rotten flesh. Okay, ulitin natin. Ano ang tawag sa patay na tao sa crime scene? Disease. Kapag dinala, dinala na sa laboratory at in-examine na, ano na ang tawag? kadaber. Okay, gansa. O oh, gis. Sir, bakit ginagamit ang gis na animal barrier? Okay? Kasi ang gansa, kapag nagigay sa gabi, okay, automatic, pag nagigay sa gabi, ang gansa, meron ng tao sa labas. Okay? Yeah. Pero ang aso, may weakest sense ba ang aso? Yes. Ang strong sense ng aso ay smell. Ang weakest sense ng aso ay sight. Malabo ang mata ng aso. Okay, at disadvantage naman ng gansa, mahirap paramihin. Bakit? Kasi ang uh, isang gansa, okay, ang babaeng gansa kung sino lalaking gansa lang, ang una makatira o maka virgin sa kanya, doon lang siya magpapatira, wala nang iba pa. Okay? Sana all, no? So, loyal, no? Loyal. So, ang uh, kalimitan, kapag namamatay ang lalaking gansa, ang ginagawa sa babaeng gansa, kinakatay na rin kasi hindi na makakapagparami. So, ano ang moral lesson? Kapag gusto mo humanap ng forever, yan, humanap ka ng gansa. Yeah. Next, ah, dito na tayo sa mga types of patrol, no? Dito na tayo sa patrol. Tapos na tayo sa bush organization, uh, police personnel, planning, industrial, dito na tayo sa patrol. Bicycle patrol has the combined advantage of since they can be operated very quietly and without attracting attention. So ano ba advantage ng bicycle patrol? That is mobility and stealth. Ang disadvantage lang ng bicycle patrol, yung nahuli mong kriminal, hindi mo pwedeng iangkas. No? Be, try ano, may nakita ka naman ang polis na nakabisikleta, nakahuli ng kriminal, ilangkas yung uh, kriminal sa likod, no? Delikado yun, baka masakal ka nun, or maagaw yun pa rin sa inyo. Ilagay mo sa harapan, yan, para sweet, no? Sweet. Okay? So, ang uh, advantage ng bicycle patrol is mobility and stealth, pero ang advantage ng automobile patrol, ang advantage ng automobile patrol is mobility and speed. Tatandaan? Ang uh, helicopter patrol ay may disadvantage ng least stealth. Pag sinabing stealth, element of surprise. So kapag tinagalag mo yung least stealth, ang uri ng patrol na mababa ang pag uh, sa surprise is helicopter patrol. The advantage ng stealth, heavy foot patrol, the oldest, the vintage and traditional type of patrol. Ano uri ng patrol yung may advantage ng uh, mobility and flexibility? That is motorcycle patrol. Ulitin natin. Disadvantage niya, yung least stealth, that is helicopter patrol. Advantage niya, mobility and speed, that is automobile patrol. 
this uh, advantage niya is mobility and flexibility that is motorcycle patrol okay mobility and stealth bicycle patrol okay yeah naiintindihan ba Joshua Fernandez naririnig naiintindihan tango ka nga tango tango ka diyan oh per next Small alleys, ano uri ng patrol yung makapasok daw sa maliit na eskrita, katulad ng mga squatters area, okay? Ano yan? Eh, walang iba kundi, boot patrol lamang yan, boot patrol, no? Boot patrol. Uh, tinalong lang nung uh, 2018 dyan, noong June, ano uri ng patrol yung magandang gamitin sa Divisoria, that is boot patrol. Pero ano uri ng patrol yung magandang gamitin sa sector, that is mobile patrol. Sir, ano ba yung sector? Ito yung territorial units in patrol, no? An area containing two or more bit route or post na lawabas nitong uh, June 2019. Uh, December yata itong sector. Tapos yung district yung 2019, yung June. Yung district, eh, ito yung territorial unit din patrol na ang meaning is uh, geographical subdivision of the city or municipality. Anong uri ng patrol ang magandang gamitin kapag may sunog sa forest? Yan, hindi horse. May sunog sa forest, helicopter pa rin. Okay, helicopter. Ito yung mga patrol pattern na 4 times lumabas June, boarding stop. The patrol pattern which is usually done at the last hour of duty. To ascertain that nothing happened in the area of responsibility of the patrol officer. Anong patrol pattern yung ginagawa ng isang police officer kapag tapos na ang kanyang duty? Okay, that is counterclockwise pattern. Ano ang mga... Keyword natin sa counterclockwise pattern, ito yung patrol pattern na ginagawa pa west, pa left, uh, after uh, duty, and last hour of duty. West and pa left. Pag clockwise pattern naman, ito yung ginagawa pa east, at pa right, and start of duty. Pag sixer pattern naman, ito yung ginagawa after clockwise and before counterclockwise. Okay. Ano yung uh, zigzag pattern? Ito yung patrol pattern na ginagawa after clockwise and before counterclockwise. Or the most safest type of patrol pattern. Okay? Pag sinabi naman is straightway or crisscross, straightway ang other term na ito is the most uh, dangerous type of patrol pattern kasi padiretso ka lang. No? Okay? The member of patrol teams shall form and assemble at the police unit headquarters at least block before the start of their shift for accounting. Okay? Ang isang patrol officer daw or police officer ay papasok na mas maaga. Dapat nandun na siya kasi magbibilang sila at magbibriefing. Dapat nandun na siya before 30 minutes. Papasok na mas maaga yan. Before 30 minutes. Okay? Next. They are considered as the first to utilize dogs for patrolling. Kauna-una ang tao na gumamit ng aso sa pagpapatrol, that is Egyptians. Pero ano ang tawag sa mga kapulisan doon sa Egypt na gumagamit ng aso sa pagpapatrol? Medjays. Medjays ang tawag sa mga uh, nagpapatrol niya sa Egypt na nagka, may dala-dalang anubis, no? Okay? Medjays. Pero kauna-una ang gumamit niyan, pag ang tanong ganito, the first to utilize those for patrolling is Egyptians. Egyptians lang yan. Okay. Next. The members of decoy. Pag sinabi yung decoy, sa madaling sabi, dito sa Manila, okay, sa Tagalog, pag sinabi yung decoy, that is uh, surveillance or, or uh, uh, by bus operation, no? sa magandang sabi. O sa madaling sabi, pag sinabi yung decoy, by bus operation. Okay. The members of decoy may dress themselves in a manner designed to help them blend into the neighborhood where they are deployed. Siyempre, dapat magpapalit sila ng damit para hindi sila makilala. Kapag ang talong nagtatapos sa toldo, ito yung technique ni Dr. Ramil Gabao at ni Dr. George Fernandez. Ang isasagot mo is true or false. No? Pag question mark, anong isasagot? Yes or no. So the correct answer is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Kasi ang, ang tanong ay nagtatapusan sa toldo. Okay, next. 2019 board question. It is the vintage type of patrol. And it still plays an important role in the development of officers today. 
the vintage, the oldest, and the most expensive type of patrol in terms of human resources, that is foot patrol lang, foot patrols. At ay, yan ay ginamit ng August 7, 1901 sa Pilipinas. Okay? Automobile patrol, March March 17, 1954. March 17, 1954. Okay. Bicycle patrol, kailan ulang ginamit? 1939. Okay. Anong advantage ng bicycle patrol? Mobility and stealth. Na motorcycle patrol, mobility and flexibility. Na automobile patrol, mobility and speed. Okay. What is the appropriate patrol method? That is most ideally suited to evacuation and search and rescue operations. So ano uri na patrol ang magandang gamitin dyan? Sa evacuation and search and rescue operations. Walang iba kundi helicopter patrol. No? Helicopter patrol. Kapag wala ang helicopter patrol, ang tawag dyan na examiner is air. Air patrol. At yung isa pa niya paborito, yung swing patrol. Air, swing, or helicopter patrol. Isa lang yan. Okay. Next. The advisable cruising speed ng mga mobile patrol. 20, 20. Gano lang daw kabilis ang uh, mobile ka para ma-jacket down niya yung mga suspected vehicles 20 to 25 km per hour ang advisable cruising speed ng mobile car natin ah. at kapag tinanong kayo sino yung kauna-una ang hepe ng mobile car sa mga kanilang police department si Isayas Alma Alma Jose Sayas Alba Jose. Yan. I patrol officer needs to respond to a crime incident faster but employees. Ano uri na patrol yung mabilis pero hindi na detect? Foot patrol ba? Automobile patrol na detect to, no? Motorcycle na detect? Mali agad. Ano pinaka mabilis pero hindi na detect? Foot or bicycle? So the correct answer is bicycle patrol. Bicycle patrol pa rin yan. Which type of patrol should be utilized? Okay. Ano uri na ng patrol na tao? Mga gamitin. Okay. Kapag may bomba. Hindi. Hindi. Walang iba kundi patrol. Okay. K9 patrol. Ang mga K9 patrol natin, gano'ng katagal ang training nag? Okay, ang training nila is tumatagal ng 3 months. Kapag wala 3 months, pwede may sagot yung 10 to 12 weeks. 10 to 12 weeks. Okay? Mountain patrol, horse patrol lang yan. Marine? Okay, ito yung mga magandang gamitin. Pag marine patrol, ito yung magandang gamitin pang laban sa illegal poaching and illegal, hindi illegal vendor. Ang uh, marine patrol, magandang gamitin pang laban sa mga illegal poaching and illegal uh, smuggling. Okay. First used by the Egyptians for patrolling. Ito ay magandang gamitin ko sa maraming criminal nangyayari. Dangerous search situations. Dealing with street gangs. Dispersing crowd. Apprehending place suspects. Parks, schools, and uh, other large buildings. Ano ba yan? Dog patrol, K-9 assistant patrol, K-9 police corps, or K-9 corps. So the correct answer is K-9 assistant patrol. So the correct answer is bravo. K-9 Assisted Patrol or CAP CAP Gaano kalakas ang pangamoy ng aso kumpara sa tao? The smelling sense of dog is black more sensitive than the smelling sense of human 1 million times, 10 billion times, 1 billion times or 10 million times So the correct answer is 10 million times compared to human no? Grabe Okay Horse Mountain Patrol, okay? It's one of the best method of patrol which is commonly used in, okay? Ang Horse Patrol, maganda gamitin niya sa park, sa mga damang lugar. Sa beach, maganda ba gamitin? Yes, yeah, sa mga malulupa. Commercial center, hindi. Okay? 
Parada and crowd control, yes. So, the answer is 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. So, the answer is Delta. Okay? At ang horse patrol ay may advantage ng 3 blocks compared to foot patrol. Ano ang advantage niya? 3 blocks. May advantage ng 3 blocks ang horse patrol compared to foot patrol. Bakit? Ibig sabihin ng 3 blocks, may masigit siyang nakikita ang tatlong kanto kumpara sa foot patrol officer. Naintindihan? At ang horse patrol is the second oldest type of patrol. Okay. At ito pala. Among the different types of patrol, this had been regarded to as the second oldest and and its use is be, uh, use is very minimal in cities. Okay? Ano yan? Second oldest type of patrol? That is horse patrol. Na may advantage ng 3 blocks or tatlong ganto uh, na higit na nakikita kumpara sa foot patrol. Okay? Next. Which among the following is the busiest ship? Busiest daw. Okay? Ang morning ship, ang pasok niyan, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Ang afternoon is uh, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Okay? Ang uh, night ship is 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Okay? Kailan daw kalimitan so, the night, no night. Pero ay sa libro ang sabi na examine. The most specific examiner, kalimitan ang yari ang ang krimen towing rush hour. Ano oras ba yung rush hour? 5 to 6 p.m. de ba? So ang after ni 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mas maraming uh, opportunity na gawa ng krimen ng mga kriminal kapag mas maraming tao. Eh, yung mga uwihan na mga estudyante at empleyado. Okay? Pero yung least busy ship, yung konti lang yung ginagawa, ito daw yung night. Yung least busy ship. List. Or, uh, tinagurihan the penalty box for police work and also the dog watch. Isa lang yung night at dog watch. Okay? Kapag morning ship ka, Kapag pang umagang police officer ka, papapasok ka na mas maagas din natin. Kung kanina, before 30 minutes, nandiyan ka na. At nakapokus ang trabaho ng isang police officer pag pang umaga, more on visibility and uh, police services to the people. Pag pang hapok ang police, nakapokus ang trabaho mo. Uh, kapag pang hapok ang police, nakapokus ang trabaho mo. More on police visibility pa rin and apprehension of law violators. At kapag pang gabi, nakapokus naman more on crime, suppression. No? Okay. Next. What kind of dog? Okay, tala po rin. Na mga, uh, mga aking mga uri ng aso na mga nagamitin sa K-19. Ato yung German Shepherd, Labrador, Newfoundland, Bloodhounds, ano pa? Uh, Doberman Pinchers, Alaskan Malamutes. Okay, pero tinatlanong dito. Anong tawag sa aso na napakalaki? Napakalaki, okay? Nakababahan, tenga, nakasaging ng Diyos at merong kinsen sa pasunod is bloodhounds. So, the correct answer is delta bloodhounds. So, Bidu, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo lang yan, si Scooby-Doo. Oh. Okay, ito hindi naman wala ito tuwing June board exam. Which of the following is the oldest? Kapag kung nawala yung oldest, kahit palitan niya yan ng ancient warning device, isa lang yan. That is horn. Ah, horn. Este, horn. Okay, horn. Okay. Horn ang ancient or oldest warning device. Ito yung mga sungay ng hayop. Okay, ginagawa nila terobot. Yung mga sungay ng kalabaw, ng mga elepante yan, ginagawa nila terobot dyan nung uh, unang panahon. That is the oldest eh, or the ancient warning device. Mali yung trumpet ha, kasi... Sa ibang uh, pointers or mga uh, Q&A ng criminology sa apps na trumpet ang sagot. So, kapag meron kayong mga ganon, i-delete nyo na maraming lasun doon. Mag-focus lang tayo saan? Sa mga Q&A at na binibigay ng safe player, okay? Kasi kapag yan, paulit-ulit mong binasa, automatic yan. Top, top of the word ka, pasado ka na, ano? Okay. Kaya, stay tuned lang kayo at palagi pumasok, okay? Sana mawala na ang pandemya para makita-kita tayo dyan. Okay. 
Next. Next wanted to commit suicide by jumping a 19th floor building. Which of the following should be the first thing to do by patrol officer who first arrived at the scene? Okay? Kapag may tao magpapakamatay, tatalon sa building na taas ay 19th floor, ano ang gagawin ng patrol officer kapag siya yung tinawagan? Sir, pumunta ka dito. Kasi may tao magpapakamatay sa taas ng building. Ano ang gagawin mo? Okay? Ang uh, kalimitan mo sa totoong buhay, ang, ginag ang gagawin niyan, ano yan, Facebook Live, no? Facebook Live muna, yeah. Mali yun, ha? Urge that to jump ako pa tatalunin. Visit ka. Call the nearest uh, relative. Hindi rin pa pwede. Report immediately to the station, no? So, the correct answer is clear the area. Clear mo yung area. Bakit? Kasi yung tao magpapakamatay, o oh, si X tumalon, pag talon niya, may tao nagtitinda sa baba ng balot. Okay. Balot! 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 Tumalon. Balot! Balot! Anyari, patay yung magbabalot. Nabuhay yung magpapakamatay. Criminally liable ba yung tao magpapakamatay kasi nakapatay siya? Nabuhay yung magpapakamatay. Pero sa kasamang palad, may tao sa baba, may nagdagan siya, yun yung namatay. Criminally liable ba? Hindi siya criminally liable. Ano lang siya? Civil liable. Ibig sabihin ng civil liable, siya lang yung magpapalibing or gagastos ng pagpapalibing sa tao na patay niya. Okay? So, kapag ikaw yung patrol officer, clear the area. Next. Ilan na laman ang mobile car? A crow which is assigned to a mobile car usually consists of Ilan ang laman yan? So, that is a uh, driver and recorder lamang. Dalawa lang, driver and recorder. Okay? Kung yung nababasa nyo na driver and uh, passenger sa mga libro, mali yun. Okay? Ito po ang tawag sa board exam. Okay? Driver and recorder. Mali rin yung driver, recorder, and supervisor. Kalimitan mababasa sa mga application. Okay? Next. Traditional foot patrolling in the Philippines was initiated on Kailan unang ginamit ang foot patrol sa Pilipinas? Yan, August 7, 1901 so, The correct answer is Charlie, August 7, 1901 Ang uh, automobile patrol Mobile patrol, okay Mobile March to March, hindi May Mali ang May March, March 17, 1954 Okay, yan Next. And police communication. Okay. 1074 means. Pagsi, ito kasi yung APCO 10 signals natin. APCO. Matandaan nyo, pakisulat. Ano yung APCO? Tinanong to. APCO stands po na. Okay. Ito yung mga lumabas sa board exam. Na mga stands, stands na yan. SOP stands for special or uh, standard. So, the right answer, pag SOP stands for Standard Operating Procedures. Kapag uh, tinanong is CBI, stands for Complete Background Investigation. Pag APCO naman is Association of Public, of, uh, Public Safety Communication Officials. Okay? Ano yun? Ano yung APCO? Association or Associations of Public Safety Communication Officials. Ano daw? APCO, ulitin natin, Association of Public Safety Communication Officials. Ito yung mga ginagamit ng talon, guardia, army, at police. Ito yung 10 codes. Diba? Pag sinabi yung 10 that is caution. 10 is for caution. 10 ginagamit ng BFP, positive, may sunog. 10 may sunog, may sunog, that is fire alarm. 10 uh, acknowledgement, that is 10 for, or uh, 10 is also is for copy. 1074 is for negative. So, the answer is negative. 1074 is negative. Yan. Ang mga tatandaan, 10 0, 10 1, na unable to copy or change location. Then, 10 4, na acknowledgement. Ano daw? 10 4 is for acknowledgement. Kapag wala yung acknowledgement, pwede yung copy. Okay? 10 4 is also for or copy. Ano ba? 10.50? Pag sinabing 10.50 is for accidents, may aksidente. At kapag may aksidente, ano kailangan yung 10.52? 10.52 is ambulance needed. Okay? 10.70 is for file, uh, fire alarm. Okay? 10.74 is for negative. At yung isa pa, yung 10.90. Ayun lang yung lumabas sa board exam. Pag sinabing 10.90 is for bank alarm. Bank alarm. 10.90. Okay? 
Nakakasunod ba guys? Nakakasunod? Ayan. Ayan, nakakasunod. Pamukha nga, ano, no? Tenter. Kaya pa, Tenter. Tenter, pag-upa. Ayan. Okay ka ba yan? Okay ka ba yan? Upa. Okay ba yan? Ayan. So, marami pa, no? Ayan. Okay guys. Katara tingnan lang merienda ko eh. Okay, kainin ko lang to ha. Kasi kanina, sama ng ano ko eh. Okay. Siguro mga 10 minutes lang. Break tayo muna kayo. Kahit kopi-kopi break lang para papagising. Yan. Ay, kakape na rin dalawa oh. Si Joe Omar oh. Ay, si Joshua Fernandez oh. Ay, kakape na. Na, may mga naiintindihan ba kayo? Ano, tututunan ba? Yan, marami salamat. Yan, okay, okay. Pas, pasikula, no? Okay. 10 minutes break. Ay, mga Fernandez. Okay. 